First of all, as we all know, Hinduism has always recognized that female are equal in, 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 in spiritual matters as the male. There's no inequality. Now, this is visible because the first ever image of uh, ultimate reality was as female in the industry, in this valley civilization. So we have always given you know, full dignity to womankind. And our prophets used to be men as well as, as, as women. So that we have done. But now in the way we depict our gods and goddesses, we give different, if you like, uh, you know, we project different aspirations on different gods and goddesses. For example, the idea that, oh, you require God in the role of a creator, we say Brahma, oh, God like a preserver, helper, we say Vishnu, or say Shiva, who's creating, mm -hmm. preserving, and destroying, etc. Mm -hmm. So we give different roles and different, you know, if you like, aspiration, human aspiration, you know, kind of projected on a super personality and giving them different names and titles and so on forms. Now, what about female deities? Now, you see, we will find normally with a male deity, whether it's Vishnu, you'll have a female consort. Please be careful. Don't call them wives. They're not wives in the ordinary sense. We call them consort, means royal companion. So with the idea of Vishnu, we get the idea of Lakshmiji as the royal companion. What are the, what are the features that kind of attract us toward the idea of Lakshmiji? We say all human beings have this kind of desire for wealth. Of course, we all want to be, you know, to, have, to be able to earn enough money. So wealth. <clears throat> the second thing that human beings like is to be beautiful, you know, to be aesthetics. So we say the idea of God is, is someone who can give us money or give us wealth as well as beauty, wealth and beauty. So the idea of in the human aspiration of projecting the idea of, you know, wealth and beauty, we say Lakshmiji, the female companion of Vishnu. Then we say, okay, what about Saraswati? We say the female companion of Brahma, we say Saraswati. That's a nice way of saying it. Now, the aspirations we have that we, in a way, project on the idea of Saraswati are as follows. We say, uh, Saraswati is the mother of learning, education, aesthetics, art, music, dance. So all these we say, all the aspirations we have, we project it on Saraswati as the mother goddess who can give us knowledge, art, music, etc. So projection of mother goddess is the giver of art, music, you know, and learning is Saraswati. Now, what about Parvati? This is the most potent image. Before I talk about Parvati, let me talk about Durga. The idea of female deity who will conquer evildoers or who will kind of, in a way, curtail the evildoers is the idea of Durga. She is the one who will remove the, the, the evil people in this world. So she is shown, you know, with all these weapons and, you know, sitting on a lion or a tiger, very fierce looking mother goddess, because she is not out to give, you know, lotus flowers to everybody. She's out to destroy the evil doers. So she's shown in a very fierce mode. That is the idea of Durga. Then what about Kali? We say the ultimate reality, when you project it as the one who will kind of demolish the creation completely, come bring it to an end, is Kali. And the word Kali is derived from the root Kala, time. So we're saying basically the idea of time is the old destroyer. It can be best projected as a female goddess called Kali. So please be aware of the meaning of the word Kali from the word Kala, time is the old destroyer. Then we come to the, the consort of Shiva. This is the perhaps the most endearing for me. I find this image the best one. Here they say Shiva's consort is Parvati. Now, Parvati is shown as an ordinary woman, no forearms, nothing, no weapons, nothing. In a way, that is telling greater humanity that all the women that we come across are, if you like, manifestation of Parvati. The most potent mm. image of Mother Goddess is Parvati. Not Lakshmi, not Durga, not Saraswati, Parvati. Shown as an ordinary woman and yet is the, the, the heart of the power of Shiva. So the idea of Shakti as the power that creates the universe, creates and manifests the universe is Parvati, Shakti. So this, are, this is how we give different roles to the different female deities that we, we kind of subscribe to. Free e-learning course in Hinduism. To register, please visit www.hindu-academy.com. Talks on Hinduism. Sponsored by People Care. Encouraging caring for the elderly in their own homes. For more information, please visit peoplecare.com.